Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Aburaki. Today I am going to start a new application. I am going to create a photo uploader. So I am going to give the demonstration of this application a bit. So here is my application. This is the first interface and here we can choose a file to this button. And this is my application. Uh, from this page I can upload a file and here in the photo gallery I can see the uploaded file and by the manage photo from here or here I can delete the photo from my album okay I am going to add more photo or upload photo so I am choosing here and selecting one file so it is here and I am giving some tag here angular 2 and uploading the file and I am going to gallery to see the file here is my here is my uploaded file and I am going to add one more file angular 2 basic and uploading the file it is here and I am uploading one more file mongodb and also I am uploading another file gulf and one more file from here bower okay and I am going to the gallery and here is my uploaded file and if I want to delete any file I can go to manage photo here I am showing the photo as a thumbnail here and the name of the image and tag name and here is the button by which I can delete the photograph for my album. For example, if I want to delete this one, I can delete it and I can see it is not here and if I want to delete another one, I can delete and I can see it is not here as well and now if I want to add one more and if i want to add multiple files and if i give the add if i add the tag angular 2 and and here so i can select multiple file at a time and i can check my gallery the images that i uploaded here is shown here and if i want to manage this image i can manage from here if i want to delete this one i can delete and if i want to delete the first one i can delete as well and i can see and i can go through the navigation button photo gallery manage photo and upload photo and by this way i can manage the app this is all about my application so it is the time to start the app this is my project uh, i have created a folder and i have copied my angular js starter kit here so usually i use this kit when i start any angular js application okay and this is localhost 8080 so if you want you can check the video how to create the angular js starter pack in my youtube video list okay and this is the starter kit and here is the firebase console and i am using student database here and i am going to use storage here so at this moment it is empty so i am going here and i opened my project with sublime text here and this is the index file uh, first of all i am going to create a link here style.css and i am going to create this file style.css and trying to save it and i am going to index.html file i am going to delete these lines from here and indenting a bit going to save it and I'm going to Firebase and authentication and web setup and I'm going to copy this thing and coming back to my editor and going to paste it here okay as I did before I'm going to copy the another script that is for angular fire so for making my angular JS firebase application I need firebase I need angular fire I need angular JS so all of these files I need also I am using here font awesome that's why I am going to paste the link for font awesome also I need to add ng file uploader CDN so I searched here and I am going to this link and from here I need ng file upload min.js and upload shim min.js these two files I need to copy I'm going to paste it here so all of these dependencies I needed for my application and I am going to save it I'm going to write here photo uploader app with angular js and firebase 
and here I am going to write upload photo and here I'm going to write photo gallery okay this much for now and I am going to my browser and refresh the page okay this is page one and this is page two okay now now here I am going to change a bit and I'm writing upload and here I'm going to write gallery okay and going to save it and also I'm going to app.js and here I am going to write upload gallery and here also upload going to save it and going to page one upload and I am going to page two and here I am writing gallery and pasting it here if you want you can change the folder name with upload and gallery and the file name also you can do it but I am not changing it for my project okay I am going to check it okay it is upload and it is gallery upload gallery and gallery and upload and refreshing okay now I am going to bootstrap panel as I am going to use it so I am going to copy it and container class and I am pasting it inside the container class okay okay this is the panel I am giving some style for my panel and also I am pasting font awesome class for I upload icon and here I am writing photo uploader and I am going to save it okay now I am going to write the panel body and I will require some div here md 10 and call md offset 1 and within this div I am going to bootstrap progress bar and here is the progress bar code I'm going to copy it and paste it here I'm going to organize a bit okay and let me check how it will look like okay so so I'm going to remove this pen Save it. Okay. Now I am giving the ID of this progress bar. Upload bar. Now I am going to create another div. Dot row. Call md six multiplied by 2 now I am writing this to div and creating a button and I am writing choose file and here I am giving the class btn btn info and btn block all these are bootstrap class and here I'm giving a link and here I'm giving some class here I'm giving warning 
and here I'm writing go to gallery and here I will give the link gallery okay refreshing the page okay so now in the button I need to add some attribute here ngf select equals select file method and dollar files and also ngf accept and ngf multiple equals true for selecting more than one files and here I am writing images slash jpeg and going to save it refreshing the browser and try to now I'm writing end of first section okay now I'm going to create another div call md 10 dot call md offset 1 and here I am going to write some h3 header tag and I am going to write files detail and then one div and within this div I am writing some message I'll use it later and then I'm creating a row and within this row I'm creating some another divs I'm writing call md2 and call md7 and also call md3 and here some image and within this div here will be file name and here I'm going to write file size okay and then I'm going to create another div dot call md12 and within this div I'm going to create another div row and within this row I am going to create call md9 and also dot call md3 okay and within this div I am going to create a input box and I'm writing placeholder and ng model will be text dot name and here I want to add one class that is text write and within this div I'm going to create two buttons and within this button I'm going to create 
some class btn btn info and I'm copying this class and pasting it here and it will be danger okay remove file and here I'm going to write upload file and here I'm going to give some hr tag I'm going to save it and want to see what happens okay okay now I am going to page one and I'll start write code here dollar scope dot tax and var upload bar is equal to document get element by id and it will be upload bar it is here upload bar this okay and i'm going to write some message scope dot message is equal to no file is selected is select a file and scope dot show message is equal to true and scope dot select file anonymous function file and this is this select file function when we will click the button then this function will be triggered okay and i am writing select and i'm going browser and refresh the button scope is not defined scope okay and here also i need to inject fire base and also ng file upload okay 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 this thing is working yes yeah, select it was select now i am going to write dollar scope dot file list is equal to file and dollar scope message is equal to false when it will select some file so the message should not be shown okay so i am going to here and here i am going to give ng show is equal to show message and here i would like to show message and i am going to put one horizontal line okay let me check so file details and no file is selected please select file or files okay when file will be selected then the message will be disappeared okay now a good point to stop for today so i will continue in my next part the rest of the things i'll see you in the next tutorial